Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and just a quick video today on the element.toggle attribute method within JavaScript. So, um, I recently discovered this method right here. Um, it's really straightforward in how it works and uh, to be honest, it's probably not as well known as what I um, sort of expected it to be. Um, so, essentially, you're able to toggle the existence of a Boolean attribute on an element. Okay, so things like disabled and read only, um, you may find yourself uh, needing to use this method um, with. Okay, so um, let's just go inside the text editor right now and uh, uh, see how this method is used. But I do want to mention here that I've got this input field. So essentially, we're going to be playing with the disabled attribute on this input field with the toggle attribute method. So inside the text editor um, we can see here I've got a reference to the my text input as a constant um, and of course I'm just selecting it by the ID uh, just like that so um, back inside the Chrome browser um, if I was to say for example now uh, my text input uh, dot toggle attribute just like that and then passing through here um, disabled um, currently, of course, the disabled attribute is not on the element. So if I press enter here, it is going to add the disabled attribute, of course, creating a toggle. If I was to run it again, we can see now, of course, the attribute um, gets removed. So really straightforward in how it works. And I also want to demonstrate that even though you're probably going to only want to use this on Boolean attributes like read only disabled, um, you can still use it on the um, or any any attribute as far as I can tell. So, uh, for example, here, of course, we have the value attribute, which actually has a value, um, but we can actually say inside here, we can say my text input toggle attribute and then toggle the value attribute and we can see it gets removed. If I was to of course do it again, uh, nothing visible happens um, but as we can see of course the actual text from earlier does not recover. So just keep that in mind but like I said most likely you're going to be using it only for your boolean attributes. Um, it's also got an optional force parameter so you can basically uh, force the existence um, of, a, um, of an attribute based on a true or false value. So for example, of course currently um, the, uh, the input field uh, disabled attribute has been removed. So I can say here toggle attribute pass through um, disabled and then here as a second argument I can say uh, for example uh, let's just do something like 2 greater than 1. So of course right here 2 greater than 1 is going to give us true because of course 2 is more than 1 so if I press enter um, we can see the disabled attribute has been added to the input. Okay so of course that makes sense. Um, if I was to do it again though uh, this time we can see it still um, stays disabled. That's because we're basically saying right here set this to be true um, and we're basically forcing the existence of that attribute it works both ways if i was to say for example false here um, it's gonna uh, um, obviously this time become false if i was to do it again we can see it still um, is non-existent okay um, so in terms of uh, browser support for this uh, 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 sorry for this method um, if I was to go inside here I've opened up the can I use our website we can see that it is supported on most uh, browsers aside from Internet Explorer which has support unknown so I decided to test this uh, in IE so uh, right here I've got Internet Explorer open I'm gonna open up the dev tools right here and unfortunately uh, if I was to try and use it uh, we do not have success. So I can say toggle attribute and pass through here disabled and we can see right here we get an error which says um, of course uh, there is no method called toggle attribute. So just keep that in mind when using this method. You might need to use a polyfill but ultimately uh, I think the main usage of this method is going to be to avoid situations where you're basically saying if this element has this attribute then do this, um, otherwise do this. So um, that is the element.toggle attribute method within JavaScript. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.